Mount Everest, the highest peak on Earth, has been the ultimate challenge for mountaineers across the globe for decades. It's a place where dreams meet their greatest test, where triumph and tragedy often go hand in hand. But among the countless stories of those who dared to reach its summit, one story stands out. An American climber, Francis Arsentiev, now known as the Sleeping Beauty of Everest. Born on January 18, 1958, in Honolulu, Hawaii, Frances Yarbrough was destined for adventure. From a young age, she was captivated by the idea of conquering the world's highest peaks. A childhood passion soon turned into a lifelong quest for exploration, and she quickly became one of the most determined and fearless climbers of her generation. Her journey wasn't one she took alone. In 1991, while on an expedition to Annapurna, she met the love of her life, Russian mountaineer Sergei Arsentiev. The two shared a deep love for climbing, and their bond grew on the world's highest slopes. One year later, they married, united not just by their love for each other, but also by their passion for conquering nature's greatest challenges. Together, they climbed some of the world's most dangerous and majestic peaks, including Denali and Elbrus. Sergei Arsentiev was a legend in his own right, known for his breathtaking feats, including climbing all of Russia's 7,000-meter peaks and completing a traverse of Kangchenjunga's three summits, a feat achieved by only a few in the history of mountaineering. But in May 1998, the couple set their sights on the greatest challenge of all, Mount Everest. Francis was determined to achieve a remarkable feat, to become the first American woman to summit Everest without supplemental oxygen. The climb was dangerous, but Francis was no stranger to risk. Her entire life had been leading up to this moment. After days of treacherous climbing, battling fatigue, freezing temperatures, and the thinning air, Francis and Sergei finally reached the summit on May 22, 1998. Francis had made history, but what should have been a moment of triumph soon turned into tragedy. As they descended from the summit, disaster struck. Without oxygen, Francis struggled. The lack of air at over 8,000 meters, an area known as the death zone, was overwhelming. She collapsed on the descent, too weak to continue. Sergei was forced to leave her temporarily to retrieve help from Camp 4, but when he returned, Francis was nowhere to be found. Terror that night, Sergei attempted to locate his wife in the perilous conditions. Tragically, he fell to his death during the search. The following morning, climbers Ian Woodall and Cathy O'Dowd, on their own summit attempt, discovered Francis lying on the icy slopes at around 8,500 meters. She was barely alive, frostbitten, and too weak to move or speak. Woodall and O'Dowd tried to help Francis, but they were too late. In the end, she succumbed to the harsh conditions, and they were forced to leave her on the mountain, knowing they could not save her. Her final resting place would be on Everest's icy slopes. For nearly a decade, Francis Arsentiev's body remained on the mountain, frozen in time, her face peacefully turned toward the sky. She was dubbed the Sleeping Beauty of Everest by climbers who passed by, witnessing her figure lying serenely in the snow. Her story became a cautionary tale, a reminder of Everest's deadly allure and the thin line between glory and death. Sergei's body was later found at the base of a steep slope, his final act one of love and desperation as he searched for his wife. Together, they became one of Everest's many tragic stories. Though Francis's body remained on Everest for years, in 2007, Ian Woodall, the same climber who had tried to help her, returned to Everest with a mission. He and his team gave Francis a proper burial, covering her body with an American flag and sending her off in a final act of respect. Francis Arsentiev's story is a heartbreaking chapter in Everest's long history. She achieved her dream of summiting the world's highest peak without oxygen, but paid the ultimate price. Her legacy remains on the mountain, a symbol of both human ambition and the unforgiving power of nature. Even now, her tale of triumph and tragedy echoes through the high winds of Everest's deadly heights.